All right, guys, I actually laid out some of the parts you need for water cooling. That's a very essential. You're always going to need a radiator to uh, cool some of the liquid because you're pulling cool air. It also helps on bring down temperature of the liquid. And then you're going to need your tubes, always tubes, uh, blocks. You're going to need a reservoir or a distribution block that will hold the liquid. And of course, you need fans pulling cool air onto the radiators. And also, it's fittings. Fittings are a must. So this fitting here is a 12 millimeter feeding. So you gotta make sure you get the right pipe for it or tube for it in order to fit. Cause there's 12 millimeter and there's 14 and 16 are kind of more of the standard size. Like here, this is a, one of the tubes. This is a brass tube that's nickel plated and it's actually a 12 millimeter that will fit actual to the actual fitting itself. All right guys, when you install the CPU block, they're gonna come with their own bracket. So it's unscrewed from from behind so let me sh so this here i'm gonna actually screw in so there's four screw ins where you got to do in order to uh, get the cpu block installed so let me do that real quick we we'll apply thermal paste you don't need a lot of thermal paste at all for these little chips here so just a dot will, do, will be just fine just like that Thermal paste is there. So here's, just gonna put it in. So the block's there, set. So now I'm just gonna put in the screws to, I guess you turn it down. All right guys, so now the CPU is set, CPU block set. So I'm gonna actually go in and uh, install it into the case. So let me show you the case, what it is. So it's pretty cool. All right guys, for the case, we went with the Asus Strix ROG Helios. And what's pretty cool about this build is actually going to John Mayer. And John Mayer is a musician, songwriter, and record producer. So I'm pretty excited for this build. We're gonna actually make it more industrial to actually what he likes. So pretty excited for what we're gonna do with it. All right guys, so the next up, I'm actually gonna install the radiator. And the way you install the radiator, you gotta find out what size radiator fits in your case. Like for example, for this, Asus ROG Helios case, it fits a 360 radiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and install in a 360 radiator, which there are brackets on here. So you're just gonna actually just put it on top and screw your fans into the radiator. Then you can actually install it into your case. But also you gotta note as far as how you're gonna put your fans. So if I flip this over, these are the, the front face of the fans are gonna go on the outside of the case. So they're going outside. So cool air is gonna pull in and I'm gonna do some also on top they're gonna face outward. So the cool air is gonna pull in and then it's gonna pull back out. GPU finally came in guys. So which is our ROG 3080. So once I get the water block installed for this card, I'm gonna go ahead and in install it into the case. But also when you're selecting uh, water blocks, you gotta make sure that it's compatible with your card because every card's different, every water block's different as well. So let's go ahead and get started on that and let's get this. Finally, we got the air cooler off. So this is what it looks like, guys. It looks pretty awesome. So once the air cooler is off, we're gonna apply these thermal pads into the VRMs, and then we're gonna put the GPU block on top. So once that's set, we're ready to go. All right, guys, so I applied some of the thermal pads on there, but the way you know where to place them at, they give you diagrams here. 
they'll actually give you a diagram on where they place the actual thermal pads at. As you can see, the orange, that's where they actually place the thermal pads at. So just to give you an idea, it's pretty easy. It's very straightforward. Uh, this is by EK. Uh, EK makes it very easy to actually install a water block. So the GPU block is fully installed, as you can see here. See the water block and also the back plate. I put the back plate in. So the next step, I'm actually going to go in and install it into the actual case. All right, guys, as you can see here, I have the GPU and the CPU block already installed. So all I have left is actual tubes. Everything's pretty much good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start on that. But on the tubes, I'm going to use some brass tubes, which are nickel plated. Uh, you can get them 90 degree bend like this, or they come straight. They come straight like, as well like this. But I decided to actually bend my own tube to give me more of that organic feel and the style that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of that. And we're going to go ahead and go from there, guys. All right, guys, it's fully done. I'm pretty excited how everything turned out. So right now it's actually running a Z490 eGaming by Asus ROG Strict motherboard. Uh, we also got the GPUs, which is a 3080 Strict, uh, which is a pretty awesome card. Water cool by EK, and also we have the Intel 10700K, which it's, it's pretty good. It's gonna be awesome what he's gonna do with it. And 32 gigs of RAM by G Skill Trident Z Royal. I uh, love those things. They look pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy this journey as far as some of the tips or some of the stuff I do when I actually water cool these machines. So stay tuned for the next one, guys.